DocuMate's invisible logic feature can be used to set complex, multi-layer logic throughout your workflows. In this video, I'll show you an example of how you can set complex page and question logic by setting logic statements. These can also be used in your documents if you prefer to use the DocuMate workflow interface instead of setting up logic using the add-in. So let's get started. On our first page, I've already set up several questions asking for marital status, the state the person lives in, and how old they are. Now, I want to set an eligibility requirement. I only want people to be able to proceed with my workflow if they are married, live in California, and are over the age of 18. So this complex logic can be set up with invisible logic. I will create a new page here, and I'm going to add an invisible logic question under the advanced tab. Invisible logic pages are not going to be shown to the end user. They're just setting variables and values on the back end. So what I'm going to do first is create a new variable. That variable is going to be called eligibility. I want eligibility to be a true or false variable because I'm either going to have it be yes, they're eligible or no, they're not eligible. I'm not going to set a value here to eligibility because eligibility will always have a different value depending on how the questions on the first page are answered. Now I'm going to go over to my invisible logic tab. And this is where I'm going to set the value for eligibility. I'll say if marital status is married and state is California and age is greater than, we're going to enter a number here, 18, and actually we might want to do greater than or equal to 18, then eligibility is yes. Now we can also set an else if, so we could set multiple different conditions, but in this case, we're just going to set one else condition to say else eligibility is no. So otherwise it will be false. Now that I set the value for this eligibility variable, I can use this anywhere and it allows me to set complex logic to different pages. So I have a page here with an eligibility decision that says, you are eligible to get a divorce with us, so I'll say show if eligibility is yes. And then I can go to my fourth page, which is sorry you don't meet the requirements to get a divorce. And now I can say show if eligibility is no. Now, if I go ahead and run this workflow, if I say I'm married, but I live in New York and I'm only 17, it's going to tell me, sorry, you don't meet the requirements to get a divorce. However, if I say I live in California and I'm 19, I am eligible. 